This screencast is a demonstration of the custom checkout step extension. So to get started, we're going to look at the one page checkout. And this is Magento's standard one page checkout. Uh, we've got our checkout method, billing information, shipping information, shipping method, payment information, order review, all standard steps. What custom checkout step allows you to do is add a new step to this process with zero custom programming. Once you've installed the extension, in the back end, if you go under System Configuration and then go down to the Sales Checkout section, you will have a new option group called Extra Checkout Step. If you set the Enabled field to Yes, this will turn on Custom Checkout Step. And then go back to your checkout, reload the page, and you will find that you have a new step called Extra Step. And if you go to this step, you can see you'll have all these new fields you can enter and once you save the step Magento will move on properly to the next step in the process and we'll also note that your extra step has been completed over here in the right hand progress field now if you can can also go back to your step you can zero those out if you want now some of the default language on here obviously might not be what you want so if you go back to system configuration um, you can name your step whatever you want. So let's say we're going to call this instead Great Step. And if you wanted to, you could change what the message was on the step complete. And we'll change this to something like um, Step Done. Um, and then down here in the Text Field section, you can also, if you wanted to, add a new field just by adding in a name. So we'll call that Field New. And that'll add a fourth field to the page. We're going to save this, and then we will go back to the one page checkout, and we will reload. And we will find that once we have reloaded, our step is now called Great Step. And if we go to the next page, we can see our new field has been added to the form. You'll notice we have done zero custom programming. This way, anyone can manage the fields on this page, anyone can add the fields they want to. Uh, you may not want your step to be first in the list. So if you go down to this show before step configuration, right now this is set to billing and shipping address. Go back to the field again. You can see billing and shipping. Our step shows up right before that. Let's say we wanted it to show up uh, before review. We could go and we could go and we could set that to review. We could save our configuration and go back and reload the page. And you'll notice our second step is now the standard billing information. And our custom step, now called Great Step, is way down right before order review. This will can allow you to move your custom form wherever you want to as part of the checkout flow. Uh, another great thing Custom Checkout Step does for you that a lot of the other extensions don't is this is not just one page checkout, but for some merchants, the multiple address checkout is a very important part of their business. So if you go to checkout with multiple steps, and we will log in. Here you'll notice um, we have um, five Ottomans because we're, uh, we're decorating. And you'll notice our great step now is right before the place order, which is the equivalent to review in the custom checkout step. And again, you can move these steps around wherever you want to. So we will show before billing and shipping. And these changes are also reflected in the um, one page in the multiple step checkout and our step is now first same fields um, that's a very powerful feature that many other checkout extensions do not offer so if you're using the multiple page checkout it's an extra re reason to give custom checkout step a try um, another feature we have for slightly more advanced users is the field source type Right now, you just put in a list of text fields. You can list any field you want to. If you put a star in front of your field, that field will be required. If we tried to move on without a value in here, you will see that 
hey, look at that. It doesn't let you through. But sometimes you need more validation. Sometimes you need more field types. What you can do in that case is set custom template and then point this to a PHTML file that defines a custom form field template. Um, we're going to take a look. This is uh, the template that ships with the uh, custom checkout step extension. You can base your fields on this. You can do whatever you want. Any kind of HTML you want to make your form, you can put this in there. And if you save this and then go back to your checkout step and reload, it will use that template to render the form. That way, if you need something more complicated, you can have something more complicated. And again, you don't need to do any of the custom backend programming to save this. Custom checkout step will save any form field it finds posted from your form fields. Which leads us to the next and final section is how do we get at this information? If you go into the sales order section and go into viewing an order, um, custom checkout step extends the order viewer with this extra information tab. Go here and Magento will display all the information saved with your fields. So this allows anyone, again, non-technical users, no poking around at the database. You can see the information you have saved and integrate that into whatever business processes you have in your company. And again, if you do need more complicated, you know, back-end programming needs, Custom Checkout Step is built to Magento standards like all of our extensions at Pulse Storm. There are event handlers for your programmers to hook into and listen to. And we even ship with a manual, and we have a uh, custom code to help your developers get started. So if you need to add a step to your checkout, um, there really is no better option than custom checkout step. Uh, thanks for taking the time to listen to this all the way through. We really hope you check it out. And, you know, if you have any questions, send us an email or ask on Twitter. We're always happy to talk about our work. Thank you so much.